interested in studying and settling in New Zealand. However, one of my friends was saying that New Zealand has an extremely high cost of living, lack of jobs which have high pay, and crime is increasing, especially in cities like Auckland. Please help me out. I think uh, your friend is partially correct. Uh, I will not say he is totally correct. Uh, uh, so let me give you the positives. Very, very good country, very friendly, very safe, very high in a lot of rankings. If you look at the prosperity index of the world, I think we are number two after Norway. We are very high in ease of doing business. We are one of the most peaceful countries. Uh, you do not see even policemen carrying guns in New Zealand. So it, that's an indication of the kind of safety that's available in New Zealand. Uh, talking about the high cost of living, I, I've heard that it is uh, higher in, in, in terms of cost of living as compared to some of the other countries. But that's because we are so far away from the rest of the world. We are kind of in the South Pacific and so a lot of our goods and services like the t-shirt I'm wearing now or that or you know or that or whatever has to be imported into New Zealand. So because of that I think the cost of transportation and logistics is high because of which I mean, if this T-shirt costs, let's say, $2, you know, $5 in America, it might cost $10 in New Zealand or $8 in New Zealand. So that's the way it is. And we are also quite limited as a market. We are only about four and a half million people in the country. So it's not a very large uh, number of goods being sold because of which, obviously, you know, the people selling stuff also need to make money. So the cost of living, I think, is definitely higher. So your uh, friend is right about that. Lack of jobs, I think, is wrong. I think. He was totally wrong about that. We have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the OECD nations. So I don't think that is correct. Uh, we do have plenty of jobs here for our population size. Okay. And high pay is not uh, very popular. I mean, it's not, it's not high pay. I don't know what you mean by high pay, but if you can make $60,000 or $50,000 in New Zealand, and if you're married, and if you are making $50,000 and you're uh, spouse is also making fifty thousand dollars. That can be a very, very comfortable life for a couple, even with one or two children. So, uh, by pay is possible, but even at a medium uh, kind of a pay, you can lead a comfortable life in New Zealand. But in uh, when you take away all of the the negatives, if you look at the positives, if you do a balance sheet of New Zealand of high cost of living versus something else and something, else, and you start putting the positives on this other side of uh, uh, you know, on the debit and credit side, as they say. So if there are assets and liabilities, if the liabilities are, I, th I do agree that our job market, uh, market is small and cost of living could be a little higher, so on and so forth. Crime, I think, is also unfortunately increasing a little bit. Uh, but again, these are not very violent crime. There is mostly like, uh, there is, we have this corner shops called dairies. So a little bit of the dairy, uh, are being attacked because cigarettes have become very expensive in New Zealand. So, uh, uh, so some of these petty little uh, kids, uh, you know, who are drunk, they just go in and try and steal some. So a lot of that is happening. But at a, you don't hear of massive murders or shootings or those kinds of things in New Zealand. So small crime, I think, is kind of been going up uh, a little bit. But also bear in mind, there's a lot of influx of migrants into New Zealand. I'm not saying migrants bring in, but uh, bring in crime. I'm just saying. There are a lot of other new elements that are creeping into New Zealand and that might be disturbing some of the local population who were living like a secluded life now suddenly feel a bit threatened. So they may be hitting out and you know, there could be a lot of reasons for it. But overall, if you compare the, uh, the assets versus the liabilities, I think the assets far outweigh the liabilities when you consider New Zealand. So I think you must uh, consider New Zealand very seriously.